For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. Alright guys, this problem that says the velocity of a particle traveling along a straight line is given by V is equal to 3t squared minus 6t in feet per second or t is in seconds. If s is equal to 4 when t is equal to 0, so at, we're getting a nice initial condition here. <clears throat> Determine the position of the particle at t is equal to 4 seconds, total distance traveled during the time interval, and the acceleration. So let's do the first part, let's call it part A. So to find the position, you know that the position is given by the integral of the velocity with respect to time, which is the integral of 3t squared minus 6t with respect to time. When you integrate this, you get that this is equal to t cubed minus 3t squared plus c. This is an equal sign. Okay. So this is s, but we're given an initial condition right here. We know that when s is 4, t is 0. So this is 0 cubed minus 3 times 0 squared plus c. This is 0, this is 0. You get that c is equal to 4. Therefore, s is equal to t cubed minus 3t squared plus 4. Now we got the formula for the position. First question is the position at 4. So all you got to do is to replace 4 by t in this equation, and you get that the position of 4 is 20. Then they want you to know the total distance traveled. Let's call it part b. Total distance traveled. To find the total distance traveled, you got to get the equation for the velocity, which is 3t squared minus 6t, and set it equal to 0 and find out when t, what, what are the values of t when v is equal to 0. To do that, it's easy to, to do it when you factorize it. So we're going to factorize 3t times t minus 2. Now that we have v factorized, you know that v is 0 when t is equal to either 0 or positive 2. Now what they're asking us is the total distance traveled from 0 to 4 seconds in an interval from 0 to 4 seconds. So we need s as 0 is where we start and we have a 0 of t right at 2 so s of 2 and 0 is already there so it's s at the end of the interval which is 4. So all you need to do is replace 0, 2 and 4 for t in the position equation and you get each of these values you get that this is equal to 4, this is equal to 0, and this is equal to 20. And to find the total distance traveled, you need to find the differences between these two. From 4 to 0, there is 4 feet. From 0 to 20, there is 20 feet. And all you got to do is add them up to get the total distance, which comes out to be 24 feet. Now we have the total distance, they want you to find the acceleration, let's call it part c. The acceleration, you know that is the derivative of the velocity with respect to time, so all you need to do is derivate this equation. And when you do, you get that the acceleration is equal to 6t minus 6. And they're asking you for the acceleration at 2 seconds, so all you need to do is plug in this 2 for the equation of the acceleration that we just found. And you get that it is equal to 6 feet per second square. So final answer for the acceleration at 2, final answer for the total distance travel in the time interval from 0 to 4, and final answer for the position at 4 seconds. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.